Right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, so welcome to the course. Sorry for the hiccup. Um, आप लोग अभी मैथ्स में हैं सारे यहाँ पे ईएस में राइट ओके एंड सम ऑफ यू हैव टेकन स्टोकैस्टिक प्रोसेसेस सो वी विल सी इफ वी नीड टू रिपीट समथिंग बट जस्ट टू कीप द कोर्स कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव वी विल डू सम बेसिक प्रोबेबिलिटी आल्सो राइट सो टुडेज लेक्चर इज मोस्टली इंट्रोडक्टरी वी विल जस्ट डिस्कस some details about the course itself uh, we won't go into uh, too much technical details today just an introductory uh, lecture so we'll start with some introductions about me uh, you guys and then the course um about me i did my bs here 2002 in this faculty Uh, since then i have been abroad um, working in saudi arabia as a automation engineer and doing the masters there in systems um then i was in sweden uh, at lund university doing phd postdoc and research fellowship there um uh, then i was at ericsson as a senior researcher working there on patenting in 5 wifi and 5g Uh, this was before 5G was launched, of course. Um, and I worked at Jof University, and yeah, my interests just a bit of bowling, badminton, dinners, and stuff. Roles um, as a teacher and as a researcher. So I've uh, as a teacher, I've given something very similar to this course. Uh, many times in sweden around four or five times so we call it uh, stationary stochastic processes there it was taught to mostly graduate students um so i have a fairly good grasp on the topic my phd is in mathematical statistics so this is uh, this field is rather close to what i do um so i've taught several undergrad and graduate courses uh, and labs and done supervision Uh, in my research my main strength is statistical modeling of signals and systems um which is basically uh, what this course is mainly about random processes when we talk about random processes we are actually interested in modeling their behavior right so that's where statistical modeling comes in and uh, because of its very general nature um it's like if you know calculus or algebra right you can apply it to so many fields right so this is um application of statistical modeling shows up in most modern uh, problems right so that's why i've been able to work on very different topics from modeling of nuclear resonance um any physics students here no okay and um Unfortunately, these days I think physics students feel this is not their course, but it, it is actually. Yeah, physicists have worked a lot in statistical theory uh, of atoms and molecules and all that. Actually, um, the the law of entropy, these things also come from uh, statistical modeling. So, spectrum estimation, uh, beam forming for radars, uh, communication, nonlinear control. <laughs> so uh, i've been able to use this and my advisor used to say this is like a hammer this field and we go around hitting nails in different fields so uh, i think knowing this these topics the statistical modeling will help a lot uh, i'll just mention one of my research projects that i did um, in um, dund university as a postdoc this was um, we were funded by welcome trust Uh, of the UK uh, to find out or develop a device that can quickly tell if the medicine is fake yes most physicists or quality control guys they will go to um, a pharmacy or collect samples bring them to the lab mix them in a liquid put them in a machine nmr and so and then say if the, uh, this medicine was fake or not by then the people from the pharmacy have disappeared so you don't have time so welcome trust was working with uh, people in africa 
where uh, United Nations and the European Union gives lots of funds for medicine and uh, sometimes people uh, take the funds, the government officials and they uh, give fake medicines to people instead of the real ones, so they keep the money. So they wanted something where the inspectors could just go directly into selling points and on the ports where these medicines are stored to quickly check. So how do you uh, tell that? So uh, what we used was <coughs> nuclear resonance, uh, nuclear quadruple resonance. Uh, do you know what is NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance? So now what? MRI? MRI, so medical application, yes. So MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, is an application of a physical phenomena known as nuclear magnetic resonance. Okay. So what you do in NMR is basically you take whatever you're studying, this could be a compound, it could be a human tissue, it could be human being, whole human being, when you put, they put you in the MRI machine, right? Why do they have that huge machine thing? Do you know? It's the magnetic field. They create a very strong magnetic field around the sample, yeah? So let's see if I can uh, get a pointer there. <laughs> So they create a very strong magnetic field yeah, around the sample and that magnetic field kind of twists the atoms inside. Okay? So they become a bit quadrupolar, so elliptical or mostly spherical, it makes them a bit extended uh, elliptical. Then each atom behaves as a small magnet. And then if you throw a radio frequency on that from here, then those atoms inside, they vibrate because of this electromagnetic field. And just like a compass move karke, I think. So they vibrate uh, in response to your radio frequency and their vibration, mode of their vibration depends on what environment they are in. This molecule in the roof has away. And the vibration basic to being pretty, right? String. How does a string vibrate? Depends on is it tied on one end? Is it tied on two ends? Is it also tied in the middle? Uski dahanya wo lock oti hai. Then you ski the physical constraints of the string decide its natural frequency and its modes, right? How it will vibrate because of the physical constraints. Similarly, the physical constraints of these quadrupolar nuclei inside the molecule dictates how they will vibrate. Now if their vibration changes because of their environment, then that means if you can uh, find the fundamental frequency of the vibration, that will change based on the compound. Right? So you can actually then identify with practice and with lots of data that if the vi molecules vibrate or the quadrupolar nuclei vibrate with frequency let's say 800 kilohertz that means they were in paracetamol in one molecule yeah and if they vibrate at 500 kilohertz then they were just in talcum powder or something you know fake medicines they put some sugar or something in there so basically you can then tell what compound it is in right now and that can help you you can make a database right and compare with the database and then say okay this claims to have uh, this is panadol it claims to have paracetamol but the vibrations don't match the vibrations that we should get from paracetamol that means somebody has put something mm -hmm. lots of it is fake yeah you may still get vibrations but it may be so weak that you can say, okay, it's just, it is supposed to be 50% paracetamol, but it is just 2%. The rest, somebody put lots of sugar in there. These dieting pills, etc. These pills, etc. And what happens in all of them? It's not a Most of them have sugar. <laughs> right? Or it's not a Right? So, when you are fake, there is no, there's no real way to lose weight like that or bal grow karne ka koi tarika us nahi. Um, so, what does the magnetic field do? 
जस्ट लाइक यू गो टू अटूडियो पहले तो होता था अब कम हो गया दे यूज टू हैव दिस ह्यूज लाइट्स राइट वट यू द लाइट्स डू तस्वीर लेते हैं जब वो आपकी बड़ी बड़ी लाइटें लगाई होती हैं क्यों लगाते हैं फोकस तो कैमरे में करना है क्या होगा सर क्लियर हो जाता है हाँ इमेज इनहेंस हो जाता है राइट यू आर बोल क्लियर सारी डिटेल्स क्लियर बन डार्कनेस वो दूर हो जाती है तो सारे इमेज क्लियरली कैप्चर कर सकता है आपका कैमरा सो दैट इज दिस रोल इज बीन प्लेड बाय द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ये मैग्नेट से एंड देन यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई different compounds one compound if the molecules were same molecule nitrogen if it's in one compound it will vibrate in one way to aapko is tarah ki frequencies milengi ye teen jo if it's in a different compound its vibrations will be very different teen char mode aur aa jayenge then you can say okay agar if this is like a signature like a fingerprint right so if you have a database of these you can decide design a machine learning algorithm some detection algorithm to tell if this was real so what we did in our work um the main issue with this thing is this magnetic field it's very hard to create this very strong magnetic field you need huge machines for that for nmr and uh, it's not very safe for humans isliye bar bar mri aap kar nahi karte ho right it's not safe for human tissue so when they need they do it but you cannot be in that strong magnetic field uh, for very long times or repeatedly so this is a problem how do you take this huge machine to catch someone on the spot aap chahte hain ki aap jaye wahan se unse kare ye ek box lo mujhe medicine ka panadol ka i will put it in my machine and it will up if you want to bring huge machine or if you want to bring them there by the time you get back wo pura stock change kar dete hain theek hai Right. So then, what you want is something that does not require a strong magnetic field, okay? And that is where nuclear quadrupole resonance comes in. Now there are a lot of nuclei which are naturally a bit asymmetric, quadrupolar. होते हैं. That means that they have multiple poles, so they are a bit elongated. होते हैं. Naturally, okay? and they there are several of them and they exist in many important compounds in many important um, active uh, medicine ingredients in many explosives in many narcotics so this is very broad then you can use this for safety and security so actually if you throw a radio frequency at such uh, nuclei they still give you a signal yahan pe to mil raha tha na aapko signal yahan bhi milega The problem is what happens if you take away these lightings? Picture thodi clear nahi rehti. You cannot tell that the street ki dark ho gayi hai ki is it Einstein or Hilbert or you know farak mushkil hona shuru ho jati hai. Yes. So this is what we have done actually. We took away these lights and said okay now let's take a picture. Let's take the resonance. Now they are going to vibrate but not as strong. Because the magnetic field hai maybe that elongates them to this much. अभी वो सिर्फ थोड़े से नाम गए थे सो दे जस्ट वाइब्रेट बड़े वीक सी वाइब्रेशन देते हैं एंड एक्चुअली दिस इज व्हाट यू गेट वेयर द वाइब्रेशन सिग्नल इज हियर ये छोटा सा नजर आ रहा है यू सी द स्मॉल थिंग एंड द रेस्ट इज नॉइज यू आर डीलिंग विद माइनस 30 डीबी दैट मींस नॉइज इज 1000 टाइम्स स्ट्रांगर देन योर सिग्नल तो वो गुम हो जाता है देन व्हेन नॉर्मल फिजिसिस्ट रन इट ऑन देयर वेरी स्टैंडर्ड Uh, computer uh, the computer says i don't see anything just noise that's it right so they say okay there is nothing we can do but that's where random processes mathematical modeling and mathematicians come in we tell them there are ways you can find the signal in here okay and the ways require that you are able to model all the small variations and properties of this small guy okay in mathematics uh, in probability theory there is the extension which is called estimation theory and inference where it is well known that if you know details of what you are looking for okay 
then even if it is very weak, you can find it. So there are statistical methods that can help you find that in there. Because normally noise does not follow any patterns. So you can try to see, okay, is there this, this particular pattern, is it in there somehow? If it is, then you can with some certainty say, yeah, okay, there is high chance that there is some signal still inside there. So this was our work and most of it involves taking lots of measurements, summing them up and then trying to come up with a very extensive model that picks up all the small details of that signature. Okay? Once you have all those small details, then you develop estimation methods. Um, I don't show it here because I don't want to scare you. <laughs> we will not do that in this course. Yeah? But we will come back to this because you will see that how we are able to <laughs> model the randomness um, and the noise parameters in there. But once you have a very nice model, you can put this into your algorithms and um, if you write them correctly, they can still find with in many cases 90% accuracy if there is a certain pattern hidden inside here or not. But you have to know what you are looking for. Right? If you give it something wrong information, then it will not fit. Hmm. Noise भी नहीं होता लेकिन ये जो nuclear quadrupolar signal है, right? इसमें तो कोई pattern होता है, yeah? Secondly, noise can have some distribution, Gaussian and other, which can help you try to identify, okay, what's the best way to get rid of this kind of noise. What are different ways of doing that? Right? So uh, that is something we will see in this course. We also model the noise in some way. Statistical model is come and right? But for this part, uh, the pattern I'm talking about is this part here. You the choti sini lines are in this. This one, uh, which is a response from the molecule. Okay. It's hidden in there. Abhi to main aapko usme dikha raha hu. In actually what your sensor will show, it will show a sum of this. So you will only see this big blue thing. Wo to andar sum ho jayegi na. Usme gum ho jayegi. To abhi main aapko waise dikha raha hu. So the pattern we model is basically for this thing. And this pattern may also have small variations from one recording to another. Right? So you have to have some randomness allowed in there. Okay. So, um, your mobile, uh, many new mobiles take picture, uh, sorry, it can be unlocked by your face, right? So, does your face look the same all day? Super different or that? Exactly. Hota hai na? So, aapko different hota hai. Okay, exercise kar ke aayin koi or, khush ho to koi or shakar. Kabhi thodi si moochhe daadi baad gain thodi si or shakar ni kalati, yes? But in most cases, good uh, mobiles are still able to tell it's you, right? So even with the distinction, with your features uh, varying a little bit, they are able to identify or find the what is constant, what is not changing in there, yeah? how much variation is allowed, and what's fixed. So that is what we will see in this course also. So you model this thing, and then we were able to. Um, provide uh, the, the device was then built by some uh, team in Italy. We provided the mathematics and the algorithms for that. They fed that into it and it was demonstrated to uh, Welcome Trust finally. Uh, but after that I moved on to Ericsson. So I don't continue with this work. But it, it covers um, quite nicely what we do. So about you guys, I guess uh, I know now, right? Um, semester I am Faraz Mukhtar from Nawabchan. I did my graduation in BS Mathematics. Abhi join kiya. Yes. Aapka? Ali Hazar from Bawalpur. Second semester. Okay. 
محبوب آلی فان ناشیا یه نره دو ترشن کشتاره سر محبوب سادیک فورت سمستر رایت سو و آپ تو کے بیچلرز میں کیا تھے کوئی فیسز ہے کیا یا کون سے کورس فیسز کس ٹاپک پہ تھا ہے کیا نمیکل سلوچ میتھمیٹکس سر ہمارا تھا ہم نے پوائنٹلی فلو کا نیومیریکل پوزیشن فائن کیا تھا پر یوزنگ فائنل ڈیفرنس میتھڈ اوکے اور یہ فیسز میں کیا تھا کورس پہ کورسز پہ سر میں نے فرشن ڈیفرنسز پوچھ رہا تھا اچھا ڈیفرنسز ڈیفرنسز ہے ابھی تک وہ تھوڑا سا ڈاؤن کر رہی ہیں you but you probably had at least one course in probability right koi lazmi tha ya nahi tha ek bhi ek lazmi tha ha uske ilawa koi liya probability estimation inference i just want to know nahi the acha hamare jo course bas ek jo course tha lazmi tha basic probability set se Uh, you know what is independence of uh, random variables, correlation, covariance, which idea is it? Correlation of covariance is a question. Yes, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Moments. Moments. So, anyway, I, I will uh, revise these things here. Um, so, okay. So, then we go to the course. Um, a little bit about the course why study random processes i also sent you the email uh, you explain briefly um I, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that modern um algorithms and analysis techniques would not work without understanding of random uh, processes okay um even this example of your own face variations from time to time that is um example of a random process actually and any ai machine learning algorithm that is trying to see is it still sadik or not <laughs> with the uh, uh, beard or without the glasses that is dealing with some variations okay some randomness so uh, we will come to that later but where can i apply this and um so basically wherever you would like to or be, would benefit from including uncertainty or variations in your mathematical model okay even there are uh, there is stochastic calculus there are um, stochastic differential equations yeah which include uncertainty into the model and then try to find its derivative and and they are very useful so even your work um, can be extended to include variations so we will see that uh, some of that we do cover some stochastic calculus in this course kiya tha usme stochastic process the uh, derivative of a random process mm-hmm. uh, thank you acha chaliye wo isme we will do that briefly maybe one or two lectures stochastic calculus yeah right and uh, how is this course uh, we will see that but where can i apply so i i give you some examples but remember this um you are in applied mathematics and a lot of applied mathematics is about applying to some field right you could be trying to model the dynamics of a fluid yes you could be trying to model um some sort of a communication process like i did with ericsson um there are several things you could be doing okay so depending on what you are going to work on you can see that it has applications in many fields uh, these communications heavily depends on um statistical models currently okay a lot of what we do when is when you pick up your phone and you make the call yes ye kahan kahan se hoke jati hai ha kafi zyada jagahon se yeah there are many variations in the way it reaches the person who you are talking to and that persons um by the time it get there there are so many <coughs> different kinds of noises that can enter mm. right so how do you manage to keep the, the voice uh, intact right how do you recreate the voice in the receiver's mobile phone how do you do it so all of that 
requires a lot of uh, modeling uh, based on statistical method. Okay, deterministic dialing in this way. So, you have to while you just nai da wo koi aapko samajh nahi aayegi. There are a lot of statistical methods working behind all these things. In ke andar wo built in hue hue hain pure algorithms, feed hue hain that are dealing with how to get rid of different noises, how to extract meaningful information from this. So uh, we will see some examples, but uh, uh, this is just to give an idea. So basically, deterministic models and noise can be done together. Deterministic model say noise um, noise होता ही जो है वो random है ना right so if you fix something let's say uh, you say के um, the the signal we are expecting is on this frequency or on these this this three frequencies right अब आपने deterministic क्या किया okay now what happens if it shifts a little bit डिटर्मिनिस्टिक क्या कहेगा उसको मैं मालूम हुआ तो एलेक्स मैंने क्या मालूम नो इन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक द डिटर्मिनिस्टिक विल से ओके यू से आप एक डिटर्मिनिस्टिक देते हैं उसको कि ये तीन फ्रीक्वेंसीज अगर आए तो से द डिटेक्शन इज देयर अदरवाइज से नो राइट सो नाउ इन अ डिटर्मिनिस्टिक सिस्टम लेट्स से दिस कम अ बिट ऑफ आवर डिटर्मिनिस्टिक सिस्टम कहां ढूंढ रहा है उसको यहाँ पे ढूंढ रहा है वो कहेगा नथिंग डिटेक्टेड अगर प्योरली टर्मिनिस्टिक है राइट सो स्टोक्रेस्टिक वन विल से हाईएस्ट प्रोबेबिलिटी हियर बट देन देर इज सम प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट यू मे फाइंड देम इन दिस रेंज राइट सो विद हाई प्रोबेबिलिटी यू शुड ट्राई टू सी इफ दे आर इन हियर अदरवाइज ट्राई टू ऑल्सो सी इन दिस रेंज हाउ डू यू इंक्लूड दीज रेंजेस ये तो वो अनसर्टेनिटीज हैं, राइट? एंड व्हाई कांट यू इंक्रीज द रेंज? तो फिर कोई और डिटेक्ट किसी और की आवाज हो जाएगी, राइट? सो दिस इज अ ट्रेड ऑफ पेमेंट है, कोई मसला है। यू डोंट वांट टू इंक्रीज द रेंज सो मच कि वो मीनिंगलेस हो जाए, कहीं भी कुछ नजर आए तो बस क्या दो डिटेक्शन हो Even slight variations mean that you don't detect it. Right? So we will see some more examples of that. But in general, uh, when you <coughs> talk about deterministic, um, purely deterministic, then there is a chance that you will miss that. For example, even in this case of um, um, this mobile unlocking with your picture. Let's say we have we don't have any statistics. We don't know humans haven't developed statistics, right? Then what will happen the first time you log in? It will say, okay, I'll take your picture, yes, and it will store that picture. Now without applying any variations to your face, it takes your picture next time. It compares them pixel by pixel. If they don't match, it will say, sorry, I cannot unlock. Not you. So it's your eyes are too dirty, yeah. डिटर्मिनिस्टिक तो फिर ये करेगा ना पिक्सल बाय पिक्सल मैच करेगा मैच नहीं होगा होगा सॉरी सो हाउ डज दैट गाय नो के अच्छा नहीं इट इज स्टिल साबित उसके दी स्टेटिस्टिकल मॉडल्स एंड वेरिएशंस आर बिल्ट इन देयर दैट ओके दिस इज द रेफरेंस पिक्चर ऑफ साबित बट देन वी आर गोइंग टू अलाउ रैंडम वेरिएशन अब रैंडम क्यों है वो हमें तो नहीं पता नहीं सुबह मुंह इस तरफ सोया था तो वही इधर से थोड़ा दबाव हो गया रेड हो जाएगा राइट सो देर इज रैंडम मैसेज है हाउ डू यू आप कितनी डालेंगे हम आप कितनी तस्वीरें डाल या तो ना आपको के एक सुबह लो एक शाम को लो एक थोड़ा मुंह ऐसे करके लो फिर ऐसे करके लो फिर उस हिसाब से हम कंपेयर करें जल्दी से दैट्स वेरी इनफिशियंट राइट सो देन दैट्स वेयर स्टेटिस्टिकल और इट्स वेरी पावरफुल जो नेटवर्क्स भी आ जाके ना इसी तरह कुछ कर रहे होते हैं वो They, they model uh, the variations through their weights. So maybe we will see a bit of that. Sir, वो कि हम face detect करते हुए और set up करते हुए भी कुछ हम वो कहते हैं ना कि कुछ इस तरह से move करो थोड़ा सा ऊपर चल। एक दो तो लेनी होती है ना एक single sample तो उसके लिए मुश्किल है ना। लेकिन फिर उनके बीच में then it creates a lot of variations. Okay? 
जब वो डिटेक्शन करता है तो फिर बहुत सी वेरिएशन अब वो सारी तो आप सोचे नहीं मांगी ना वरना तो बहुत सारी बन जाती वो कहाँ से आएंगे हु दे तो इफ आई हैड पुट अ डिटर्मिनिस्टिक मॉडल इन देयर जो आप सोचे कितनी तस्वीरें ली चार नहीं नहीं सर वो कैमरा सेटअप करते किसी से भी मैच नहीं हुई तो बस लॉक है वे डिड दे फाइंड दो फीचर की क्या चीज है इन दिस रैंडम मैच जो चेंज नहीं होती ये भी तो समझना है ना राइट सो अगेन दैट फाइंडिंग द डिटर्मिनिस्टिक इन द रैंडम ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्स यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द रैंडम ठीक है कौन सा रैंडम है कौन सा डिटर्मिनिस्टिक है जो चेंज नहीं हो रहा असल में और उसको वो करते हैं बायोमेडिसिन हैवीली यूज यू नो ई सी जी ई जी क्या फर्क है ई सी जी क्या होता है ई जी क्या होता है ब्रेन का होता है राइट सो ब्रेन की जो आप मैरिज करते हैं ई जी नाउ इन ई Uh, you know there is something arrhythmia bimari hoti hai dil ke andar thoda thoda wire jo uski dhadkan hai na usme imbalance aa jata hai rhythm kharab ho jata hai so often that can be an indication of some underlying heart problem that may lead to heart attack or death yeah ab wo itni small variation hoti hai ke you cannot normally just wo jo visual hai na usse nahi aapko pata chale par ek choti si wo hoti hai हाउ डू यू फाइंड दैट और हर बंदे की डिफरेंट होगी जिसको वो प्रॉब्लम शुरू हो रहा है इट विल वेरी फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर हाउ कैन यू मेजर अ पर्सन हार्ट बीट फाइव टाइम्स एंड देन से विद नाइन्टी परसेंट श्योरिटी ओके देर इज सम इशू यू हैव एर इज समिंग फ्रॉम या हाउ कैन यू डू दैट वेरिएशन है इसके अंदर अनसर्टिनिटीज है रेंडमनेस है इन सम वेज या सो दैट इज ऑल्सो एक्चुअली रिक्वायर्स स्टेटिस्टिकल मॉडल अगेन अगर डिटर्मिनिस्टिक आप कहेंगे तो आप एक बंदे का रिजमिया कहेंगे कि जी वैसे हार्ट बीट जो है वो ऐसे होनी हो चाहिए और अगर हमने एक बंदे की मैर की थी वो ऐसे थी और फिर इधर थोड़ी सी ऑफ हो गई थी फिर इधर जल्दी हो गई थी फिर ठीक है इसकी ये होगी लेकिन एक और शख्स की हो सकता है रिजमिया ऐसे हो कि ये है और थोड़ी सी कुछ ऐसे अब If you take this as a reference of arrhythmia, then you miss this one. Deterministic, me right? Up, how many reference will I get? Chrono will I get? Or if you make so many, then then every thing will be wrong. Then you will get sick. Yeah. So how do you uh, take care of that? Yes, this is the main random process in the modeling. Mein. Stock market very hard to predict. but people are able to predict in short term and they make a lot of money to this yeah uh, agar in cheezon ko predict na karte hain to banks and insurance companies they would close immediately long term yes it's very hard to predict still but in short term they are able to predict and they are able to make money out of it yeah stock brokerage but it's a highly highly random process okay Uh, we will see what we mean by highly random. It is random, and then highly random. What is that? That is where our godicity, stationarity, properties come in. Yeah. So we will also cover that in this course. And as I have shown you already in chemistry, uh, explosive detection, landmine detection, um, the techniques we developed in nuclear quadrupole resonance. From here, uh, these are two signals collected. one of them uh, is from a landmine underground and one is from not from a landmine you cannot tell koi nazar aa raha hai it's all noise okay the actual signal is lost in there so you need a lot of statistical modeling to actually decide between detection if we have is is there something dangerous here or there aur dono mein kuch nahi hai ye dono mein hai right so and interestingly these are more applied kind of things 
but you could even prove the existence of atoms using statistical modeling yeah so until 1905 uh, hame kaise lagta tha jaise atom ka shuru se sab ko yakeen aa gaya tha okay bade bade scientists until these times 1908 even they were saying no there is no actual particle koi nahi hota dekha to nahi na kisi ne bas wo experiments hi kar rahe the thode bahut they were saying it's not particle it's some sort of energy being moved that's it there is no actual particle that some people are calling atom and many of us don't know because einstein did so many great things in 1905 that we forget many of us know about his photoelectric effect which he got nobel prize on and we know of course special relativity also written in 1905 but there is a third paper which many of us actually don't pay attention to but physicists know it this paper is credited with conclusively proving the existence of atom okay after this einstein was able to model something i will show you briefly with einstein the contribution is huh? <laughs> there the others were working on these things but conclusive proof after this people said yeah okay there has to be an atom physical atom koi hai cheez ab to hai humne wo dekh liya hua sam sam se scanning electron microscope se par us waqt it was unknown but how did he get to that kar kya raha tha wo he was trying to model a stochastic process called Brown, brownian movement ab wo aap keh rahe aapne padha nahi hai lekin theek hai what was that brownian motion padhi hai physics mein kya tha wo robert brown ne kya dekha tha he threw a pollen into liquid mm-hmm. and with his microscope he saw its path every time he drew it it every time it was a bit different but it looked something like this kind of thing yeah so he was like ye kya ho raha hai isko kon dhakke de raha hai isko ab atom nahi hai sab known aap to abhi keh rahe na atom hai unko nahi pata tha ki paani mein so they didn't know is this something continuous or what this is not 1905 brown did that much before right but nobody was able to properly explain ki isko ho kya raha hai pollen kyun aise aise jata hai yeah now einstein started he said okay brownian motion einstein said i can give you exactly this motion yes similar to this exact same hi hogi aaj lekha lekin something that uh, looks similar and i can predict the overall path it will take from time to time drift is ka kis taraf hoga based on this assumption that there are very tiny particles like this usne kuch andazan size bhi uska diya that are hitting this guy at random and using random modeling stochastic modeling we will study that it's actually a case of markov process we call it random walk okay, it's a stochastic process random walk very important it's actually a realization of the random walk but anyway what is that we will not look we cannot look at individual atoms hitting it but we can model their average behavior and see the motion in extended time how the pollen is going to move and he was able to model this thing using the assumption that there are lots of small particles hitting this pollen grain yeah and Uh, that is what he says in his work investigation on the theory of brownian movement but what really helped was he also in 1908 he wrote another paper in which he clearly wrote how you can test this um, theory to be correct by predicting the overall motion of the body uh, and then another physicist did that uh, experiment and the experiment showed exactly the results that einstein's formulas were giving and that guy then got the nobel prize in 1926 based just by showing what einstein had already said in theory but the key thing here is the whole work he did used statistical modeling okay all this sir ye brownian motion jo humne padha sir ye isko stochastic modeling keh rahe hain lekin kuch log ise deterministic modeling bhi dekho karte hain ye kehte hain ki deterministic or non chaotic ke hamare paas chala jata hai नहीं क्या ठीक इज समथिंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम रैंडम और डिटर्मिनिस्टिक 
हमने जो डिटर्मिनिस्टिक सर हमने फ्लाइट टॉपिक्स में जो पेपर पढ़ा था ना तो उसमें सम टाइम मॉडल जो हमने बनाया था डिटर्मिनिस्टिक मॉडल में हमने सिर्फ ब्राउनियन मोशन जो पढ़ी थी द ब्राउनियन मोशन एज अ रैंडम वॉक बेसिकली इज जिसको हम ब्राउनियन मोशन आम जुबान में कहते हैं अभी करंट रूल्स का जो मैथमेटिकल है रैंडम वॉक है दैट इज रैंडम आई एम नॉट श्योर आप कौन से वाले क्योंकि इस यू कैन मॉडल दिस ये जो ऐसे ऐसे जा रहे हैं You can model it as deterministic. Every time you put the pollen there, ये different shape आएगी, थोड़ी सी different आएगी, ठीक? But you can find the drift of this by the density and the temperature of the liquid. वो क्यों affect करेगा? वहाँ है जहाँ पे ये आपका statistical model affect करता है, right? So uh, you might be confusing with something else. We can look at it. आप check करें जरा मुझे भेज दें अगर कोई आपके पास है material. Um, Brownian motions technical name is random walk नाम से आपको समझ आ रही होगी इट इज रैंडम तो कैसे कही के ऑटिक इज समथिंग डिफरेंट के ऑस आप पढ़ते हैं नहीं पढ़ा आपने क्या फर्क है के ऑस रैंडम और डिटर्मिनिस्टिक के ऑस समथिंग सर के हमारे पास हाई सेंसिटिव होता है इनिशियल कंडीशंस पर हमारे पास शुरू में तो सेम पास चलते जाते हैं लेकिन एज अ टाइम पैसेस तो हमारे पास बहुत डिफरेंट हो जाता है जबकि डिटर्मिनिस्टिक हमारे पास टोटली डिफरेंट होता है कि अगर इनिशियल कंडीशन स्टार्ट से लेट तो वहीं से हमारे पास डिफरेंट पास दे देता है एंड डिटर्मिनिस्टिंग इज अबाउट दैट वी नो दैट एट द टाइम इट विल बी देयर और नॉट या और रैंडम में से क्या ताल्लुक है सारे केऑस से क्योटिक सिस्टम्स आप वो टर्बुलेंस वगैरह में पढ़ते होंगे फ्लूइड मॉडलिंग में अप्लाइड का पेस आपके को अच्छा बस ये अच्छा 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 क्योटिक सिस्टम्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग बड़ा उसमें इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रिक है उसका अ क्योटिक सिस्टम उसका जो आउटपुट होता है ना दैट कैन ऑफ्टन लुक लाइक इट्स रैंडम लुक्स रैंडम Even it can pass many tests of randomness, but a chaotic system is fully deterministic. Yes, you would have escaped. Yes, if you know the initial condition. So, वो उसकी movement ऐसे लग रही होती है कि ये random है. It appears random. It passes many tests of randomness, but it is fully deterministic. Okay, and that is um, a uh, chaotic system. And um, in many ways, um, there is there can be some debate about modeling uh, using chaotic systems. There this thing also, if you know where each molecule atom is at the start, the initial condition, and then you have some very super duper computer that can model every particle, uh, every atom, how it will bounce off each other and bounce off this uh, pollen grain. Uh, you could try to. Um, get something here. Then what But about sir, the Einstein equation, who says that either I can predict the path of this pollen grain if some kind of uh, constraints are mm -hmm. given. Mm -hmm. So it's not like chaotic. And in chaotic, we also said that that's predictable. And uh, in this case, we are also yeah. going to predict using some equation of Einstein. No, in a chaotic model, if you know the exact equation and you <coughs> use the whole equations, then you will not get average motion over time. You will get exact motion over time. Right? Mm -hmm. Here he is doing the average motion over time. Okay. Mean behavior kya uska? Average behavior kya? <coughs> so, um, right. So we will see Brownian motion later. But I want you. What I wanted to show you here is that actually. um the second law of thermodynamics also depends a lot on statistical issue uh, that is the order and disorder in a system uh, the probability of something going back to an ordered state is very low yeah so this is connected to that but so it's not just that these thing has application in engineering or chemistry Uh, bio you can use these things in pure uh, philosophical physics and mathematics you can use them yeah so there are many topics that we cover uh, that will help you later depending on what you want to work with uh, the minimum you can have is like 
um, being able to analyze the uh, let's say results of your experiments of your work yeah to see how sensitive they are to different variations right so assessment we, we, we can see that but we will use two the two of these two uh, books basically um, Lindgren stationary stochastic processes for scientists and engineers so it's a very nice book with, that is between uh, theoretical and practical so it, as the title says it's written for both scientists and engineers so I think it works well here at JLK the other one I have chosen um, and I will use heavily so the first one is our main uh, book but then I bring in theory detailed theory of probability uh, and some axioms some theorems from Kobayashi the first one is written more uh, like a practical book while the second one is more of a, a probability and end processes uh, theory book which has a lot of um, underlying theorems and since you are applied mathematics guys so I think you will like those so I will bring those into um, this thing here assessment this is just uh, from last time maybe we will update it but usually there are lectures there is assignment so I will give you which I then take vive on uh, seminar each of you has to give one seminar um, for we will see towards the end of the course or uh, after the mids term paper uh, this is a graduate course every graduate course I think should have a term paper requirement so you will um, term paper does not mean you have to publish something yeah if you do very good but it means you are either given a general topic you do literature review on that topic and then you reproduce some of the results in that topic from the literature yeah or you are directly given two or three papers and you are asked to reproduce them yeah? and if you are if you do it correctly often you are able to contribute something to it and you can send it to a conference or a, so in my masters I had uh, one conference and one journal paper from two different courses uh, as term paper we started as term paper because, but then when you have done the literature review you have simulated some results then you start getting ideas to how to improve that yeah so you simulator is ready you just implement your idea and you test if it works out if it's very big a good contribution you send it to a journal if it's just a small contribution you send it to a conference uh, if it's just a reproduction okay it's good enough for the course yeah so this will help you and then there are exams mid and final <coughs> that also um, work so any questions so far no mm -hmm. so I will I have sent the tentative outline to you guys um, and we will uh, see that um, in some detail but what I will do now briefly I will um, take you through some very basic uh, overview of the topics we will cover a uh, very very quick one uh, not uh, nothing detailed as maybe 10 minutes or so because of course we will come back to all of this uh, later so let us see if I can get this guy yeah <laughs> Right. <coughs> so we have done the introductions and now uh, as I said why study random processes and uh, those things what do we study in here but let's say as I mentioned about variations let's say uh, towards the end of this course I have a recording of some of you saying this audio record waveform yeah 
So maybe you are saying this thing, which is which could be I ate this course. Yeah, hopefully not, but it does happen sometimes. <laughs> okay, and you you are so strongly feeling about this that you say it three times. Yeah. Now, between your three recordings, you will be um, interested to know, or you may actually already know, the waveforms, will they be exactly the same? We record it and check it point wise. No? Even you are the same person sitting at the same time saying one thing three times, there are variations in there. Depends on loudness. Loudness say upper each other. Right? But even uh, while talking, Amari Awaz, same, the frequencies are varying a little bit. Okay? So, and the pitch is varying a little bit. Once you say it, second time, you say it, so accent we change or out there. Sometimes just emphasize it. I hate this course. I hate this course. Yeah? I hate this. Variations are here. Then there are variations not from your system, but from outside also. Right? Recording this third time, kisi ne durada baja diya bichay. So, your spikes are jayegi, thak, thak, thak. Now, even within this recording, this is a very trivial basic example just to give you an idea. These are, there are random variations in these. Point wise nicha, deterministic up exactly nahi chan sakte. But even with these uh, variations, are we able to extract some deterministic information? Hamare kaan is me se kuch still information nikal paate hain ya nahi? Can our ears tell something? What can they tell? They can. Our ears can usually tell if it's the same person or not, right? That's like your mobile with the face uh, unlocking. Even with your face uh, features a bit different from time to time in the day. It can still tell it's this person. Similarly, our ears can still tell it's the same person with high probability. Yeah. What else can our ears tell? That is the same thing was being said. Agar aapko wo language aati hai, kisi zor shaman mein Chinese mein, fir toh nahi samajh aayi kya kya hai. But if you know the language, you will know the same thing is be said. So even with variations, um, and even with additional noises and things coming in this is very small variation but the variation we deal with can be very high yeah but even with this one even in here our ears are able to tell okay there is some deterministic information in there is it two people saying this is it one person saying this then is it um, what exactly are they saying do they love the course or do they hate the course every time they're saying the same thing what else can they tell? Usually we are able to tell if it's a male or a female. We are also often able to tell if it's a grown-up or a child. Right? Now, grown-up is all about it. It's a lot of variation. How do you tell them? This randomness variation, I don't know what the other exactly is going on. But I am able to listen to my recordings. In most cases, sometimes, yeah, someone's voice is very loud. Yeah, it can happen. But, that is also part of probability. The normal distribution where I am studying, वो मेशा जो extreme cases हैं उनको भी थोड़ी थोड़ी probability दे रहा होता है Chance है कि किसी grown up की आवाज बच्चों की तरह लगे. थोड़ा सा chance तो है, right? But in most cases, they are in the average के करीब होता है. Yeah. We will see that later. So first, we might be interested in seeing how to represent these random variations. अब इस इनको ये जो from point to point जो change हो रहा है at the same time instant थोड़ी थोड़ी variation अगर आया या ज़्यादा है how do we model that variation right how do we study that variation start कहाँ से करना है right call it a random variable या उसके बाद क्या करें उसकी कुछ properties वगैरह फिर उस random variables की how do we assign probabilities to that all of that uh, in the main book is chapter 1. Okay. And <laughs> that is random um, introduction of random processes. Yeah. So we just 
look at the randomness basics of probability which will help us try to model or say something about these random variations and we will also use I'm mentioning our main book but from the second book Kobayashi we will also use some theorems axioms some more mathematics here I will add that there right we might be interested in extracting some non random information from here okay so as I said even with this variation I can tell what is being said I can tell it's the same person I can tell it's a male or a female I can tell it's a grown-up or a child with high probability yeah so we might be interested in finding okay even with these variations what is it that doesn't change okay which characteristics are hidden in this which are in variations ke bavju change nahi ho rahi ho. why do we need those because they will help us tell ki ye, even with these variation it, this picture is still of sadik right signature jo signature lekin uske andar signature kon si features hai kya cheez hai jo hoti and that's where something called um, moments at a time sir dekhenge ki matlab ek specific time pe ki kon si feature change ho rahi nahi time pe overall mein dekhenge we will see the average behavior um, and that's where our chapter 2 comes in which is moments and stationarity um, you say you already studied some of stationarity yeah but we will cover it uh, again so this is these are what are going to help us often <laughs> find even with variation what is it that is not changing okay average ka some moments kya hote one of the simplest moment is the average kyun lete hain average अक्सर बहुत सी चीजों का लॉन्ग रन में सेम हो जाते हैं लॉन्ग रन में सेम हो जाते हैं एवरेजेस वी टेक ट्राई टू टेक एवरेजेस सो वी कैन वर्क विद द एवरेज एवरेज ह्यूमन हाइट कितनी होगी अब देयर इज वेरिएशन इन ह्यूमन हाइट्स राइट बट व्हाट इज कैन वी एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम द एवरेज ह्यूमन हाइट या आप घर में बेड है आपके है वो इधर से उधर तक क्यों नहीं बनाते उसको लंबा क्यों नहीं बनाते नॉर्मल एवरेज एवरेज हाइट्स और से थोड़ा सा बड़ा बनाते हैं ऐसे ही आपके लिए तो नहीं बनाते ना वो भी आप बनवा सकते हैं कहते हैं मेरी हाइट में जैसे कपड़े करते हैं हम कपड़ों में भी एवरेजेस या बोर्ड वगैरह चलते हैं लार्ज मीडियम राइट सो वट्स हैपनिंग इज दे आर वी moments are averages correlation covariance then it goes on but we we will stick to that stationarity is are these averages also changing or not okay wo hum us pe aayenge wapas dobara agar ye khud bhi change ho rahi ho phir to hum aur mushkil ho jata hai yeah but um, <laughs> we will come to that after that for ease of comparison we may be interested in <coughs> studying Chapter three and I think five. Yes, we may be interested in some studying. Okay, what are some of the common random processes? Ye sciences and engineering. Me, why do we always study? Ke ji differential equations, homogeneous hoti hai, non-homogeneous hoti hai. Ye kyun classify kyun karte hain? Baad mein kya kar? Kyun kar? Koi idea? It helps us attack the problem, right? so we say okay these are the kind of equations that often show up and these are the kind of solutions that you can apply to them as a thing i'm open to it but differential equation ab har banda dobara se solve karne ki koshish kare right so people have been working with random processes for two day two centuries at least pascal wagaira ne shuru kiya tha ye random probability theory ki buniyad rakhi thi so they have come across many random processes brownian motion is one example right so why not look at them carefully ke ji commonly kon kon se appear hote hain 
Okay, and then if you are working with your problem, that may be EEG, which may not have existed hundred years ago, या कोई और नई टेक्निक ह्यूमन कोई ग्लूकोज मेयर करने की वी डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट बिफोर बट नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई द थ्योरी ऑफ प्रॉबिलिटी एंड स्टेटिंग मॉडलिंग टू दैट फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड ट्राई टू डू इज के डज दिस प्रॉब्लम फिट एनी ऑफ द नॉन मॉडल्स लेट से डज हाउ डज दैट हेल्प यू मोस्ट प्रॉबली पीपल हैव ऑलरेडी डेवलप सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट नॉन मॉडल सो योर जॉब इज नाउ टू फाइंड फतवा वगैरह नहीं होता उसमें वो जो होता है क्यास वगैरह इश्तेहाद वो ढूंढते हैं ना क्लोजेस्ट कोई है इस उस वक्त तो जहाज नहीं थे ना तो अब जहाज का फतवा कैसे देंगे आप क्लोजेस्ट ढूंढेंगे ना ट्राई टू फाइंड के जी कौन सा केस फिट होता है इसमें सो हियर आल्सो वी विल कवर सेवरल कॉमन रैंडम प्रोसेसिस पॉइसॉन गाउसियन वीनर मार्कॉव और उनके फिर सब क्लासेस विच आर रैंडम वॉक प्रॉडियर मोशन ऑल दैट Right, so with that we might be interested in finding okay, uh, what mathematical models can represent mathematical models for random data. आपके पास कोई random measurement आ गई है data आ गया है What are the models available to you? Yeah. and uh, that is chapter 7 and there we will cover uh, arma models uh, with their details models ka idea hai aapko model so ye wale to aapne nahi padha um that you know mathematical modeling you know deterministic models yeah let's say aap ek motion study kar rahe hain deterministic yeah and it follows aisa follow karti hai ye एक्स एक्सिस में ये जितना मूव करती है वाई एक्सिस में उसका स्क्वायर मूव करती है कौन सा मॉडल बनेगा जियोमेट्री कोटेटिक कॉटेटिक पैराबॉलिक मोशन यू ऑलरेडी हैव अ नेम फॉर इट पैराबॉलिक की आपके पास फिर और स्टडीज भी हैं उसका रेट ऑफ चेंज सब कुछ आ गया सो वी आल्सो हैव मैथमेटिकल मॉडल्स फॉर रैंडम डेटा फिक्स है कुछ मतलब जो कॉमनली अपियर होते हैं या हमें हेल्प करते हैं मॉडल करते देर आर मेनी मोर बींग डेवलप बट इन दिस कोर्स वी विल कवर दी वेरी फर्स्ट फ्यू या ना वी कुड ऑल्सो बी इंटरेस्टेड इन सींग ओके वॉट मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन पेशेंस वी कैन डू टू आल्टर random processes we could be interested in changing the random process aapne measure kar liya ab aap usme koi change lana chahte kis tarah ka change lana chahte hain masalan maybe you want, you want to amplify some particular features and suppress so others right um jo ultrasound hota hai na child ki heartbeat jab pet mein karte hain बिफोर बर्थ फीटस की उसमें सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज पता है क्या होता है मदर की हार्ट बीट तो वो इतनी स्ट्रांग होती है बच्चे की छोटी सी होती है तो वो उसमें कैसे निकालते हैं यू नीड टू अप्लाई सम सॉर्ट ऑफ ऑपरेशन उसको जो भी उसके अंदर एल्गोरिथम है मैथमेटिकल फिल्टर दैट वर्क एंड रिमूव द लाउड नॉइज ऑफ द मदर्स हार्ट बीट और एम्पलीफाई करती है बच्चे की हार्ट बीट या सो हाउ डू यू डू दैट so what the, the the thing i want to tell you here is that often we want to or need to alter random process isme hum dekhenge jab hum is pe aayenge and uh, isko hum filtering kehte hain and that is chapter i think 6 okay chapter 6 and 8 yeah finally um chapters 4 and 9 we may be interested in seeing the frequency content of our random process <coughs> aapko fourier transform pata hai suno so mm-hmm. kya karta hai time analysis ko frequency time domain signal ko frequency domain signal mein convert karta hai right so time mein agar ye sinusoid hai ek 10 kilohertz ka to fourier kya karta hai 10 kilohertz ke peak right 
बाकी सारी इंफॉर्मेशन ड्रॉप कर देते हो जैसे एक साइनोसॉइड है टेंथिलॉइड राइट सो देर आर मेनी बेनिफिट्स फॉर दिस वो हम जब आएंगे उस पर फोरियर पे और फ्रीक्वेंसी कॉन्टेंट पे वी विल सी देर आर मैनी बेनिफिट्स ऑफ गोइंग फ्रॉम टाइम टू फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन एक बेनिफिट तो अभी आपको नजर आ रही क्या हुआ ये कितने डेटा पॉइंट्स हैं इसमें इसमें कितने एक रह गया राइट सो कंप्रेशन नॉर्मली नहीं आप लिखते हैं इसमें कॉम्प्लेक्स राइट बट सिंप्लीफाई करने के लिए यू कोड से ठीक है अगर हम इसको एज अ कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ले रहे हैं कोसाइन का तो यू जस्ट टेक टेन किलो यू कैन हैव अ फेस प्लॉट ऑल्सो टू शो इज इट कोसाइन और साइन राइट और समथिंग इन बिटवीन बट हेयर आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू दी एग्जैक्ट रिग्रेस डिटेल्स ऑफ दैट है वो अब जब आएगा फिर हम कर लेंगे लेकिन इन इफेक्ट यही होता है ना फाइनली ये दिखाता है आपको भी उसके अंदर वट फ्रीक्वेंसीज ऑफ साइनोसॉइड आर हिडन इन दे सो ऑफ्टन वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सींग दी अब जो फोर यू ट्रांसफॉर्म वन यू हैव स्टडीड यस इज फॉर डिटर्मिनिस्टिक प्रोसेस That does not apply. Fail हो जाता है वो mathematically fail हो जाता है on random process. अब क्या करेंगे Frequency content कैसे निकालेंगे उसमें आती है power spectrum. Yeah, and we will see that uh, later uh, when we get there. But frequency content of random processes. जो the Fourier transform you have studied so far. applies to deterministic processes okay so what do you do then for random process it's good to have know their frequency content as well so that is in chapters 4 and 9 um often ye isliye separated hain ke they give basics here and then more advanced they get here so we will see uh, most likely um maybe we will follow this that we we'll do 3 and 5 and then Seven and um, I will follow the outline I have sent you. I also made some detailed links here, so you will be able to see how we concise me say. Got it. But with this, uh, basically the whole course is covered. In here, we will do a lot of basic um, or the foundations of probability, using including axioms of probability. Axiom, पता है क्या होता है? Math, तो आप लोग भी math करें. क्या होता है axiom? उसके बगैर कुछ हो नहीं सकते मैथमेटिक्स इसीलिए मैनी पीपल दे से कि ओके जो भी आप इससे कंक्लूड कर रहे हैं ठीक है लेकिन इज इट प्योरली लॉजिकल क्योंकि इट स्टार्टेड विद समथिंग वेयर यू सेड ओके बस इस पर यकीन कर लो राइट सो इज इट प्योरली लॉजिकल और नॉट मुश्किल है इट्स फिलोसॉफिकल डिबेट बट प्रोबेबिलिटी थ्योरी ऑल्सो हैज एग्जियम्स कॉलम गौरव ने डिफाइन किए थे सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद दैट एंड विद बेसिक प्रोबिलिटी इन so before we close i just want to give you um, an interesting activity so we have here um ek ek le le aap you don't have to do it this week or next week but try to think of it so you have here i'll show on uh, the camera also i don't know if you can see so let's say you have received this message from someone yeah and you need to decode this message i can tell you this is in english okay pad sakte hain isko aap nahi padha ja raha right to now you are going to decode it okay this is one of the earliest applications of probability theory log purane zamano mein khat likhte the na ki ye badshah pagal ho gaya jinse phone leke aa jao 
तो वो सिंपल तो नहीं लिख देते थे क्यों पकड़े जाएंगे तो सात कलम हो जाता था उस दौर में सो देर वर वेज ऑफ इनक्रिप्टिंग देयर लेटर्स दिस इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट वेज ऑफ इनक्रिप्टिंग बट देन पीपल फाउंड अ वे टू डिक्रिप्ट दैट डिकोड कैसे किया दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन स्टेटिस्टिक्स ओके प्रॉबिलिटी स्टेटिस्टिक्स वो सो आई डोट वॉन्ट यू टू डिग अट टू सी कोई आता है गैस आपके दिन में कैसे डिकोड करेंगे इसको वैसे यू नो इट्स इन इंग्लिश अब ये लग तो नहीं रही इंग्लिश सारी अब आपकी मर्जी है जो जिधर आप चाहे अगर इनको रिकॉर्ड करके सबको देखा जाए तो एक ही सेंटेंस बनेगा ये सारे एक एक सेंटेंस टाइप फ्रेजेस बनेगी राइट सो कोई आता है क्विक थॉट बट आप अभी नहीं करना आप सोचना इस पर जब मैं आपको इसको फाइनली सोल्यूशन बताऊंगा तो यू विल सी कि प्रॉबिलिटी इज नॉट अ स्मॉल थिंग इट्स नॉट अ जोक अर्लीस्ट जो रिकॉर्डिंग की गई और अभी भी बोस इंक्रिप्शन एंड डिक्रिप्शन इज बेस्ड ऑन सम फॉर्म ऑफ प्रॉबिलिटी सो okay. so, uh, इसको ट्राई करें uh, आज का लेक्चर uh, पूरा हो गया आई विल क्लोज दिस रिकॉर्डिंग